Hello guys, in previous session we refactored the code so every road is in their own uh, group road folder like notification is inside here and links related code inside here so today I want to actually link user with their own links and right now if we look at the Prisma structure I mean Prisma schema we'll see that user and link they are not linked uh, and we need to actually make user own the link and so user can see their own data so it will be if you expect something useful from this session I think it will be Prisma relations so here in the link we need to say user ID which will be a string and relation will be user 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 let's just make it underscore oh by the way we shouldn't forget map and we shouldn't forget yeah we need to say how long is the user ID but we don't have it here so I think I will refactor the Prisma schema structure later okay so now we have relation between link and user let's see what is wrong here ah yeah so we can either write relation to links here so user have links link yep that will work or one more thing how we can do that if we can just format it so once I save it should format the schema with Prisma formatter and that should add um, and that should have added that link relation but it haven't what about oh let me make myself smaller so egoistic to show you guys my face and not the code uh, what if I will run Prisma format in the terminal yep it added this link um, but the formatter that is inside the VS code oh it just doesn't work okay let's fix that so if we go to settings we should find it there let's see Prisma file watcher yep trace server nope we need format so somewhere there we should say that Prisma schema should be formatted by Prisma uh, itself. I think we can find this information in the Prisma extension page. Syntax highlighting, formatting. Yeah, so in the settings JSON we should add this line of code let's go to our VS code I think it's time to remove the dot IDE for JetBrains stuff and instead and one line here editor format on save yes that was already there I believe uh, but what about formatting Prisma schema Mm -hmm. this additional line okay and let's see how it works and if it works the result schema let's remove this and let's just save the file and we got it nice I'll just rename it to links because it's you know multiple uh, and uh, yep that would be the relation now Let's run pnpm prisma migrate dev. So our database is updated with this relation and it will say like, hey, you are missing values for this user ID. And there are no default value. So we cannot do that. 
right now I'm okay if we just drop data but it didn't offer me this option and what about we just say pnpm prisma migrate reset that should drop the data and apply migrations let's check the database here we are tables prisma migrations uh, let's show table records and we need to add one more migration because user ID is not yet here so pnpm prisma migrate dev that will run only if we don't have data in the links table and it is empty nice so it should ask us about name of migration so we say links add field user id nice and we don't need this file now so we have new migration it should uh, it just adds new column and new constraint for the foreign key and let's see how it works we need to adjust our backend and front end accordingly to this change so let's start with the backend I'll close everything and we'll go to roads to link so we have context and uh, it should have uh, user ID defined there so if it is not we can just say it like here if no context user uh, we say auf not authenticated yeah something like that so let's we'll just add curly brackets here and here so this code means if user is not yet authenticated they cannot ask for any of this data their command will be rejected so and that lead uh, lets us use this user id in this code below because now we know it will be differently defined so for find many we'll just say where user id equals context user id and uh, prisma link doesn't know that there is a user id property now oh, that will make me crazy that sh there should be already type for that find many user find many wait this is link i'm looking for link yep here it is we go inside arguments we go inside where and this should have user yep it has user and user id so it should know already ah okay after we went to this file it probably refreshed the typings ah you need to watch these things okay so now we'll get all the links only for these users uh, and when we create one we need first of all to validate so the data uh, and then we need to define user id so let's go to shared models and create one more model for link we'll mostly copy this stuff paste it here and define link schema uh -huh. so we'll have link type and link error and for schema what we have now is uh, let me go to the prisma schema it will be user id 
then it will be oh wait we need to define two schemas one for creating schema uh, and one for just updating schema i think right now we don't have update uh command but we will have so let's call it link add schema so link add command we'll call it okay so once we get uh, data from front end we validate it and we expect it to have URL mm -hmm. then title title is optional Priority is also optional. And it should be enum. So inside enum, I think we should provide array of strings. Yeah, but can we convert Prisma enum to um, Zod enum? That's a good question. Let's check the browser. So Prisma enum to dot enum. Hmm. Well, that was three years ago, two and a half. Query num type for Prisma. Well, let's look at the Prisma types first. So let's import a link priority from Prisma client and let's look at it. So it has type and it has constant. Nice, so constant is actually what we can use with Zod, I think. So let's go to Zod enum documentation. So Google for enum, native enums and Zod enums. We need Zod enums, I think. So we can actually convert it to array of strings, I think. Object keys. Yep, that should do the trick. Does it? Check documentation for enum. Yeah, it expects constant. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find example with Prisma enum for Zod. And it's better if we use Prisma enum um, instead of hard coding our own stuff. Let's try with native enums, maybe that will work. Native enum win priority. Okay, that seems to be working. Nice, okay, uh, what else? Priority is favorite. Yeah, 
and um, created that, updated that. They are optional. Uh, like later on, front end can send us already everything that we need from offline. You know, because for this kind of application, uh, and it will leave also in the extension browser, it should work for offline. I love application when they work offline. Okay, and optional. Is our ID UUID? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So ID is optional, URL is required. I think URL is the only thing that is required. Cool. So now we have the schema. Let's try to use it. So here we say link equals link add command parse data. Uh, I think we need to import it, right? It is exported. Ah, I think we need to do this thing here. No, still doesn't see link add uh, i it's link at schema not link at command okay now we can import it just we need to use relative path okay cool we parse it we got the url and everything else and that is link add command we'll call it So data will be equals data link at command and it should have a user ID and we'll take it from context user ID. Okay, we don't have any type errors so far, which is good. Let's see if it works. Uh, we have the backend running. Is it still alive? No, it died. Let's restart it. Cool. So we have the user. Auf invalid session ID. Uh, let's check that. So the session ID, ah, we dropped the data, the database. So we sign out and uh, it doesn't work because we cannot delete the session that doesn't exist. Okay, let's fix the authentication for it. That should be quick. So when we try to sign out, we will try to invalidate the session. But if it fails, We will log it, uh, but also we will clear the context in any way. Like, okay, maybe session ID doesn't exist in the database for some reason. Uh, but we will need to sign out the user in any case. Okay, let's try again. We sign out and again it doesn't work. Ah, wait, but we will we just log it. Okay, this is fine. We logged it. This is from this line. This is expected. Now we can sign in again. Oh, wait, we need to. What is this? Ah, I haven't got signed out information. No, I think I got it. Okay, sign up. Let's use my previous email. I used to that one. Okay, we have the user. Let's try to create a link. I want to see all the terminals. 
So in case of errors, I want to see them. And we need to fix this, by the way. Uh, it keeps asking for list even before it is authenticated. And it says like, hey, you are not authenticated. But then we got authenticated. So it should re-ask for the list. Uh, okay, let's try to add. So we'll start with something like test.com, let it be test1, and we'll leave everything else. And let's see, we got the error. By the way, we need to work on this validation uh, error messages. What we sent was priority empty. And uh, yep, priority is not expected to be empty. Also, it is invalid URL. Oh, yeah, I think invalid URL happened because we didn't have protocol like HTTPS. Let's try that. So, and if we don't get, don't feel any priority, we need to fix it on swelled side. Now our error is invalid enum value, expected low, medium, high. Yep, let's fix the swelled kit side. I think we can close all of this so they don't stand in the place. And go to roads. Oh wait, oh is it components? Um, ah, we need to move these two guys to client components. Okay, we will do it in a moment. Link create link priority favorite. Yeah, so these none of this stuff is typed. And we actually should do that. By the way, I think we can later on replace it with add store or stores. But step by step. So first of all, our select uh, doesn't always have priority selected. What about we mark it as selected here? Will it be? No. Uh, let's go to HTML select. I don't know, I don't like v free schools. Oh, Mozilla is better. Oh wait, we already had selected. Yeah, it's we better have this. Medium. Selected doesn't work. But it should work. You can include selected attribute on an option element to make it selected by default. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Okay, so probably it is because our priority string is empty here. So what we can do is we can fill it with a value. But instead of having Prisma imported on the front end, which is not the best practice, we need to use our Zod schema. So that would be Uh, let's define it. Const link add command of type link add link add uh, command. I think models link oh, I forgot to re-export it there. Let me fix it quickly. So models index. No, I did it. Link add schema, link add command. Models. Yep, everything should work. Models link add command. Hmm.
but it is here uh, anyway I actually want to include the whole schema so we can add validation on the front end side too so let's do this link add schema type for the command why will it work like this yeah it does for some reason mm -hmm. let me check my aliases quickly models link to models mm -hmm. should work um well let's try to plan this we have a command and we need it to have default values like this and we will link it to these things I'm not sure that it will work with spelled bind value so it will update this object um, let's check it out for a second I want to use prayer with JSON stringify. Uh huh. Okay, we have it here. If I change something here, does it change? Yes, it does. Okay, wonderful. link store and I think it's time to use the yeah, link store for that uh, let's see what type of link does it use link from Prisma client no 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 it's not Prisma client anymore um, Yeah, well, okay, let's leave it for, for a second here. What doesn't match? ID properties are incompatible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for add, we actually should use link add command type okay that's better uh, what else here so this is initial value and I want to define it as initial value And here we'll reset it like this. Yeah, let's remove schema for a second. Okay, okay, I will fix. So let's see, mm, change this, type something here. Uh, it should start to work now I think test.com favorite true priority low yup it is added wonderful and if I refresh the page we need to change the order of this fetching the user links so we need to go to the link store instead of fetching it instantly we only need to do that when our authentication store is ready so let's go and import our store subscribe to that one and uh, state if state user undefined 
so um, so what we need to check here if if user was undefined but became defined uh, we want to run this thing so I want to keep previous value previous user undefined so it should be of type undefined or well let, let's keep just user id undefined of string if state user if state user id not equals this uh, then we'll do some logic but also we need to check if it is defined and uh, previously we haven't user well we didn't have the user and now and they are not equals well they they won't be equals if this happens i think this is extra condition that we can remove so if there was not a wasn't a user and now there is a user we will fetch the list and we need to also put it here okay cool let's see how it works so we refresh the page here and we got no data I think this is because we so the user is in the state of our store but it is not yet resigned in okay I think we need to change a little bit in our store so in the state we can keep track of is it currently authenticated or not so yeah I, I want already to keep it all separate so ID would be string session ID would be string and empty string is totally fine then one more thing is uh, is authenticated so initial state would be local storage local storage key user id same for session id yep now here we want user id to be grabbed from the local storage and the session id also be grabbed from there but is authenticated is false because we need to re-authenticate first so this thing will become true only uh, when we got re authenticated or resign in or something something about that uh, let's check server for a second and here we we send sign in for all the successful comments okay so sign in signed up we update user id message data user id we update session id from same thing and authenticated is true okay and we can set all the things uh, 
Uh -huh. Then we do update sign out case. Mm -hmm. And we clean up local storage. Mm -hmm. Okay, this should work now. Uh, what is this? If user, then we send resign in. So if user ID and session ID and not authenticated, we will actually send it then. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. This is all good. And here we'll simplify it. So we say previously authenticated false. And here we can just check state is authenticated and was not authenticated. Now we'll make it true and we fetch the list. Refresh page and let's check. And we got no messages at all. <laughs> I guess I broke something in authentication. Yep, so probably it's because our keys in local store, local storage are not what they were. So let's clean this up. Now let's sign in. And it should be good from there. So we signed in. Now we can ask for the list and we got the list. Okay, cool. And if we refresh the page, yeah, we got no list. That's not good. Let's check it here. So sign in invalid session because we send the session but not ID. Why ID was empty? Let's check our local storage. It's undefined. Hmm. Ah, it just comes as ID. Yeah, so this message data is not typed and it is not type safe to use any of any type. So we need to uh, bring type safety over to front end from back end, like all the responses here should be typed. Okay, again, we sign in. It works, we refresh the page, it keeps working, nice. Only after we successfully sign in, the list comment, get list comment is sent and it got results. And let me play a little bit just to make sure it works. Facebook. Yep, I got it, we refresh the page. <clears throat> it all works, but our header is broken. I think that's because of that TypeScript check command, pnpm check. We need to run it manually uh, instead of uh, it run on the runtime. Okay, so we say if there is a user ID, then we show this nice okay so let's summarize we've linked our links uh, to the user and uh, if we sign up as a different user user id let's say they should have their own list of links but we need to refresh the store, by the way, when we sign out. 
Uh, yeah, we, we can do it right now. Why not? If previously was authenticated and state is not authenticated, then we set to initial state. Nice. Okay, that should do the trick. Uh, let's check it out. So this user will save something different like google.com. Don't forget the protocol, Anton. Add, sign out, links empty, sign in. And we got a multi-tenant application, guys. Nice. So I will wrap it here. I think this session already got a little bit longer than I wanted. But in any case, thank you for your attention and see you in the next one.